What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 27 of the How to Code a Spigot Plugin for 1.15 series. Today's episode, we'll be talking about the Vault API. And if you don't know what Vault is, it's basically connecting a economy system to your plugins. Not connecting a your own economy system, but any economy system in Spigot. Now, most of the popular ones like Essentials, uh, iEconomy, are all connected to Vault, so we're able to take money and add money to people's balances very easily. So the plugin we'll be coding today is if we kill a mob, it'll give us some money. So if we kill a sheep, so it gives us money and it's all random. So if I had $20,000 on me, if I kill this plus 200 and you see it gave me $200. Now the money system is between $1 and 1000, which is yeah, y'all can edit it, but it works for killing mobs as uh, like monsters and animals. To start off the project, I went ahead and I created the mob money project right here. So I went ahead, I already created the project, I created a package for it, and I created the main class. I also created the plugin.yml. So I went ahead and just did all the basics that you need to do for every single plugin so that this video isn't too long. But once you have all this basic stuff created, like the extends style plugin, the on enable, the on disable, and then your plugin.yml. We can go ahead and actually get the vault into our plugin. And how we do that? We right click on the project. We go down the properties. I know you can't see it, but click on properties. And you click on add external jars. Make sure you're in the Java build path, in the libraries tab, add external jars. And this is the same exact thing that we do when we add in the spigot. We're just adding in our vault. And uh, oh, sorry, one thing I should say is make sure you have vault actually installed. So we can go to the Vault website. I'll leave the description. I'll leave the link in the description below. Download Vault. This is Vault right here. Download Vault. Put it in your server. Make sure you have Vault in your plugins folder. For this plugin to work, you need Vault, and you also need an economy plugin. And also, you can see here, Vault currently supports, and there's a bunch of different economy plugins, permissions, and chat. Because Vault is not only an economy API, it's also permission API and a chat API. So once you have Vault installed on your server and you have an economy plugin installed on your server, go ahead, add Vault to your plugin. Once you have Vault added to your plugin, you'll be able to use all the different API that it offers. The first thing you want to do is type in public economy eco. And this is going to handle our economy. This is how we're going to edit and add and withdraw money from the player. The import for economy, if you hover over it, if you hover over it, it'll show this one right here. The net, milk, net milkable vault economy. If you do not see this import, that means you didn't, you didn't add vault to your plugin. Once we have that created, we can go ahead and create the one method that we need just to set up the economy. It's a very simple one. Set up the economy. So we're going to run this method on the on enable and we're going to say if this one equals true that means they have economy set up if they equals false that means they don't have the economy set up and to check if they have an economy we need to type in registered Oops, capitalize that sorry registered service provider economy economy uh, we'll say economy, and that's going to equal a get server dot, and I'm going to go down a line. Oh, no. I'm going to go down a line to keep it all in one screen. Dot get service, uh, get services manager dot get registration. And then I'm going to type in net dot milk bowl and we can go ahead and be that one right there. And I'll move down another line so you guys can see. I'll explain everything once we have it all typed in. Dot economy dot class. Go ahead, import that. And there you go, I spelled it wrong. Large straight. All right, so if you don't spell everything wrong, you should get it like this. Like, and uh, 
what this does is basically goes into your server and it sees if you have an economy plugin installed. It's going in and it's saying, get server, get service manager, get registration. Does the server that has vault, does this server have vault installed? And does it also have an economy installed? Does it have essentials? Does it have I economy? Does it have some economy plugin installed? If it does, then we can go ahead and say, if economy doesn't equal null, so that means if they have an economy installed, go ahead and set eco equal to economy dot get provider. Next, we can say return. Uh, we can return eco does not equal null. What this says if equal if a eco equals null, then return false. If it doesn't equal null, return true. And that's all we need, right? Right there, and we're done. This is the only method you need to set up the economy. And then we can go in the on enable and we can say if the setup economy. So if that equals false, that means they do not have vault installed. They do not have an economy plugin installed. And what we want to do there, type in return and we want to say get server dot get plugin manager dot disable plugin this. We don't want to shut down the server. We don't want to have errors show up in the console. No, if they do not have a vault installed on the server and they do not have a economy plugin installed on the server, let's just disable our plugin. Disabling the plugin will make it so the server can still run perfectly fine. They just cannot use our plugin. We can also say something like system dot out dot print the line. Uh, print line and we can say you look pretty chat color dot red. You must have vault and an economy plugin installed. I'll move it down the line for you guys. So if the setup economy returns false, that means they do not have vault installed. I'm gonna say you must have vault and any kind of plugin installed, and we can disable our plugin. We also want to type in return because we don't want to do anything else in the on enable. And just like that, our vault is done. Now we can actually use the, the eco, eco variable. If you wanted to you can type in eco dot and you can see all the different things you can do. And the ones we're going to be using is the withdraw maybe, but ones we're really be using is deposit. We're deposit money whenever they kill a mob. And to do this, we will need to create another class because I'm going to create a separate class for our event. And we'll go ahead, create a new class, and we'll call this the mob kill event. Inside the mob kill event, you'll need to implement a listener. Once you have a listener implemented, go ahead, type in add event handler, public void on kill. Uh, it's entity death event event. Go ahead and import all that. All right. Once it's all imported, to handle this economy variable that we have in our main class, we need a constructor. So I'm gonna go ahead and create our constructor now, and it's gonna be a private main plugin public mob kill event. We'll pass in a variable of our plugin. All I'm going to say is this plugin equals plugin. If you don't know Java very well, all I'm saying is this plugin right here, our classes plugin, equals the one that's being passed in. And you can tell the difference by the colors, light blue, light blue, dark blue, dark blue. So you know how it handles. And like I said, all this does is so we can use variables in our main class. We're going to be able to use plugin dot eco. So we're able to edit that player balance basically. All right. So what do you want to say in this event is basically if the event oh, event dot get entity, the event dot get entity is instance 
of a mob. Then we want to give that player money if they actually killed it. And if you didn't want to use mob, so what mob does if you import it, it says if the entity is in some mob, and it doesn't matter if it's an animal or a monster, it'll work. If say you just want to do monsters, it'll be monster. If entities and stuff a monster, that will only be things that will like hurt you in the game. Say you only want to do animals, it'll be animals, I think. Animals? Yeah, animals. And that would be just peaceful mobs. But we want to do every single kind of mob, so we're typing mob. And next we're going to say player player equals event dot get entity dot get killer let's get that killer the thing that killed the mob and if you're thinking what what if it dies from lightning strike what if it dies from fall damage we need to check if they actually has a killer so we're to say if the player equals null let's just return this means if the player goes null, that means they died from a natural death. Maybe <laughs> they they lived too old and they died. They fell off a cliff and they died. We only want to handle this event when the player kills it. So now that we know the player killed it, we can say random r equals a new random. We create some random value. Say int amount equals r dot next int, and we put a thousand in there. Go ahead, import everything. If you don't know what this random does, basically it's just create a random number. And when you type in random number, I mean, uh, r.nextint, and you put in a value in here, it's going to take it from, I think, 1 to 1,000 or 0 to 1,000. So you're going to get a random number from 0 to 1,000. If you wanted it to be 10,000, 0 to 10,000. I'm going to do 1,000. And next, all we're going to say is plugin.eco dot deposit player and we're depositing money into this player and the amount we want to deposit is this amount of variable we created next we can say player dot send message check color dot green and i'm gonna make it look a little pretty check color dot bold i'm gonna say plus dollar sign plus amount And then just like that, we are done. We can go ahead and go into our main class. And then in the onable, we need to type in this. This dot get server dot get plugin manager dot register events. And the event we're registering is a new mob kill event. Pass in this and this and I'm sorry I'm making everything I should probably change the scenes and everything but I'll make everything like this scene and we're basically done now we created the on enable we created so we're checking if the economy exists if it does then we want to create this actual eco variable and then next, we want to register this event. And what this event does is whenever we kill a mob, it will give us money. First and th foremost, we need to check if it actually dies from a player or not. And just like that, we're done. And we go into the last thing we want to do is go into plugin.yml and type in depend vault because our plugin depends on vault. Last episode, we talked about a soft depend where it's optional. Vault is not optional in our plugin. We need vault to do this. Now, let's say if you wanted this to be like a optional feature to where it sometimes gives you money or gives you an item, then I recommend not doing this economy thing in the main class. Go ahead and make a separate class for the economy. Like I said last episode, I like to keep all my API in its own class so that if it's an optional thing, then it won't be seen by servers that do not have Vault installed. That makes sense and now let's go ahead and export to my server we'll call this mob money go ahead reload the server and see if this works all right let's look for a mob a 
Oh, God, I'm lagging. And there we go. Plus $928. 352, uh, 36. And we type in slash bow, you'll see my bow is actually going up. So I have 24,200. There we go, it's got $400 more. And just like that, we have our economy done. That's all we need to do. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Pretty simple aspect, but it can make your plugins 10 times better. Now, these are my two favorite APIs, PlaySource API and Vault. I don't think I'll be going over any other API because I don't really use any other API but these two. If you do want to see something, if you need help on another API, go ahead and join the Discord and ask for help. I'll be happy to help you and my team will also be happy to help you. We have a great community on there of learners and you will not be made fun of if you ask a stupid question. Believe me, we all have stupid questions and we all make stupid mistakes. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you.